Hi everyone. So today I'm going to try to show you something pretty mind blowing at first. So I think I'm going to show you a sequence over here. So G0 is 0, G1 is 10, G2 is 19, G3 is 289, and G4 is a question mark. So what do you think is G4? So again, G here doesn't stand for Graham's number, it just represents a function. So what do you think it is? You can try to pause the video and think about that before you continue it's a pretty mind-blowing thing so what do you think so there's not much information actually you only the only thing you can tell is a increasing sequences could g4 be much 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 bigger than 289 or could it be just slightly bigger than 289 or could it be smaller than 289 you know Things could be crazy in math, much crazier than the universe because we don't have to follow anything like the laws of physics. Anyway, what do you think? And what if I tell you G4 is equals to infinity? Do you think that's possible? Could it even be possible? I mean, um, if that's the case, it kind of means this is the fastest growing function ever. You know, it grows faster than tree or SCG or even busy beaver lotus function or even rails number i mean rails function um but another thing you might notice you know some people say that's impossible because you know as long as n here g n here n is finite number any output has to be finite it happens for any computable function we've seen even the uncomputable function you know bb10 you know is not it's not infinity but anyway um, this is something pretty mind-blowing, which actually came from none other than the famous mathematician Ron Graham, so believe it or not. And this is actually related to the uh, problem, which is called the inserting plus signs and adding. So if you think you want to know what's going on about this, then just keep watching this video. So what is the uh, inserting plus signs and adding? So it's basically a pretty recent paper from Ron Graham and two other collaborators. So this is about trying to convert a natural number to a single digit number in n number of steps by using the insert and add operation. So what is the insert and add operation? So pretty straightforward. You're just adding plus sign between the numbers um, to and then at the end, you try to make it into a single digit number. So uh, in this case, for any number from zero to nine, again, here we are only using positive integers or the natural numbers. So zero to nine, it actually requires zero steps to become a single digit number, obviously, because it's already a single digit number. You don't have to do anything. If you don't have to do anything, it means zero step. So then number 10, it requires one step because uh, the number 10, um, of course, is not a single digit number, it's a two digit number. So you convert it by use, uh, by inserting an add sign. So you put an add sign between one and zero, then it becomes one plus zero, which is one. And one is a single digit number. Therefore, 10, you can turn 10 into a single digit number in one step. So the next number, 11, again, one step, because one plus one is two, two is a single digit number, and all the way to 18, eight still requires just one step, because one plus eight, it equals nine, nine is a single digit number, and then the number 19 you act is actually the first number or the smallest number that requires two step because one plus nine is 10, 10 is a two digit number. Therefore, you have to do it one more step. So one plus zero is one. So it's, you require two steps. So what about the number 20? 20 requires one step because two plus zero is two. Two is already a single digit number. And then another example is 29, 29, it requires two steps because two plus nine is 11. 11, you need to do it one more step to turn it to one plus one and two. And now the question is, what's the smallest positive integer that requires three steps to turn into a single digit number? And it turns out that if the sum of digits, what is the sum of digits? Sum of digits is you're adding all the digits of a number. So in this case, this 10 digit number, the sum of digits is 58. That's your sum of digits. If the sum of digits is less than uh, 19, that means 18 or below, then it doesn't require more than two steps because if it's 
smaller than 19 let's say 18 then it only takes one step to get to 18 and after that it only takes one more step to get to a single digit number therefore we're trying to find um, any number that sum of digit has to be greater than or equal to 19 and that number turns out to be 199 so how many steps you need to turn 199 into a single digit number using the insert and add function or operation so 1 plus 9 plus 9 which is 19 which is a two digit number so we have to do it one more time so 1 plus 9 equals 10 and and then you have to do it one more time so 1 plus 0 equals 1 so 1 is a single digit number therefore it, it requires three steps but actually there's a quicker way to do it and i forget to mention again you don't have to use uh at sign there's no limit on how many at sign you need to use you don't have to put it in between every single digit you only have to use at least one plus sign so in other words you can do it something like this you can do the two digit sum so 99 plus 85 that that is allowed and you can also do something like this so a quicker way would be 1 plus 99 which is 100 and 100 you just need to do one more step because 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1 is a single digit number therefore you only need two steps if you do it like this so 199 the quickest way is two step to turn it into a single digit number so now that means 199 is not the answer so what's the next number that is sums of digit is at least 19 so the next number is actually 289 so how many steps do you need to turn 289 into a single digit number so there are three ways to do it you know but what is the quickest way that's the answer we're trying to find so the quickest way is three steps so all these three steps i mean all these three answers require three steps you can pause the video to look at it so therefore 289 is the first incident or the smallest number smallest you know positive integer that requires three steps to turn it into a single digit number so now the next question is what's the smallest number that requires four steps so we'll try to pause the video and think about that is it much bigger than 289 or could it be slightly bigger than that or, 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 or even very very big up to infinity what do you think so again we're just using the same idea what's if the sum of digits uh, is smaller than 289 then it only requires three steps or less as proven in here because you just need one if that's the case if your sum of digits is smaller than 289 you just need one step to reach 289 and then i mean that's you only need three steps or less so you're trying to find the a number that's is sums of digit is greater than or at least 289 so what's the smallest number whose sum of digits is 29 it turns out to be this 33 digit number that's the smallest one and um however it turns out that you only require two steps to turn it into a single digit number which is pretty straightforward you can do something like this one plus nine 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 with there's two uh 32 nines here so it becomes this number here one followed by 32 zeros and as you know all of the uh here is uh, just zero so one plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero which is equal to one the sum of digits of these are one so only requires two step so this is not the candidate or not the answer so but at least we now have a lower bound so that number that requires four step has to be at least two times 10 to the power of 32 because um you know it has to be bigger than this number so this number plus one is two times 10 to the 32 and here is where ron graham steps in and find out the answer and actually two more collaborators and i think this paper is published in around 2014 so pretty recent and not very well known of course and it turns out ron graham he loves you know creating upper bound or lower bound you know similar to the grams number the problem related to that and he improves these upper round believe it or not to infinity and actually you can try to read that paper yourself it's called the inserting plus signs and adding and of course you can also try it yourself you can create a very very large number and that number of course has to be bigger than um 10 to the 32 times 
two. So it has to be at least 33 digits, I believe. And but you can try it on yourself. But this is one way for you know how to turn this number into a single digit number in two steps and any number up to infinity requires three steps or less to do it uh, based on the proof by Ron Graham in this paper you can try it yourself and it's kind of mind-blowing and at first you know my reaction I think most of you are the same is that there's no way that's not possible because what it says is that even let's say grams number or tree three SUG 13 loaders number any number whatever I mean whatever bit it is up to infinity it can you can reduce it you can you know you can convert it into a single digit number in less than four steps so three steps or less um, but I mean it just read about that paper and it turns out it, it's true so in other words if I make this into a function it becomes this so g4 equals infinity but of course that's not the case it, it is kind of cheating you know if you put you, if you try to convert this problem into a function because in big numbers you know any positive i mean any finite number n its output has to be finite but this is the case g4 equals infinity there's no algorithm that you can kind of make this infinity but anyway it's kind of a mind blowing thing that uh, one of the most mind-blowing thing I ever read is this problem is that you can turn any number up to infinity I mean any natural numbers up to infinity uh, to a single digit number in three steps or less but anyway this is um, my video on this thanks for watching and have a nice day